Hi, my name is Danielle. Welcome to Danny Element Tarot. I'm going to do a general reading for Virgo for April 2022. I know you can't see the table, so maybe I'll just put a thumbnail of the cards in the corner or something. We'll see. Let's see what the current situation is for Virgo April 2022. The Nine of Swords reversed, so it could be Gemini energy. Uh, some kind of embarrassment going on here. What's in the recent past? The Knight of Swords reversed. All right, you made a mess of something. I feel as though this is work-related because so far we have a lot of swords energy. So I think you, you messed up big time at work, but I'm not sure that it's as big a deal as you feel like it is. What's your, um, what's above you? The Fool card reversed. Yeah, you went into something haphazardly at work. You didn't put in the preparation that you need to, or at least you feel this way. I'm not sure if this is the actual situation. I think you're having anxiety over this, but it may not be such a big deal. Uh, below you, you have the Four of Cups. So your coworkers and other people are sensing that something is off, and I think they're telling you not to worry about it, but in true Virgo fashion, you know, when has that ever worked? Somebody telling you not to worry about something and then you didn't. What's in your um, near future? You have the Nine of Cups reversed. Yeah, so what this is, I think this was some project at work that you really wanted to nail and it was more of a personal goal for you than it was actually important to the job itself or to like looking for looking good in front of your boss or your coworkers or, or anything like that. Maybe it might even be a personal business. I think you tried something you know, like could be a tarot business, could be some kind of YouTube channel or, or TikTok, or you, you did a travel blog and it did not have the success that you were hoping, but people are telling you, Hey, but like, look, you know, you got, you did get some followers, you started it, you got your feet wet and you're just, uh, you're kind of like, it's opening up a whole new world as far as like, this is gonna, this is going to take, I don't want to say more work. I think you were prepared for the work. I think it's it's going to take more imagination or creativity or something extra for you to really move forward with this. And it's a little daunting for you right now. Your external influences, you have the King of Wands. This could be Leo energy. There is someone in your mix who could be a really good influence for you in this regard. Like give you give you the the missing element, so to speak. Um, I almost want to say a partner, but we don't really have a lot of partner energy on here right now. Let's see what your internally wheel of fortune. You still have high hopes for this, despite the setbacks. The Empress reverse you. Okay. So because of this like setback that you had, you did sort of retreat and not work on this and kind of focused on other things like life happened and you're worried that you're not going to get back to it. And you also feel as though, you know, going back to what I said before, you feel as though you didn't put in the necessary prep work, but I don't think that's the case. I, it's, that's what life is. You try something, you make a mistake, and then you learn from it. So this is part of the prep work is learning and trying again, you know, learning or doing something, maybe it doesn't turn out all right. You revise, try again. What's the, uh, okay, that card just popped out. All right, you have the lovers as your outcome. Yes, I definitely think that the missing element here is going to be either a partner or somebody to get on board just to like consult or just maybe even a conversation. I think you just have a conversation with someone and they add that extra bit or like they just say something that gives you a great idea that's going to kind of bring this to the next level for you. Let's just keep going. Let's just see where this takes us. So that's the Celtic cross, but let's just see where it takes us. We got the two of cups reverse. All right, so it's not a partnership. It's not a partnership. It's some piece of advice or somebody who's going to help you in some way, but not a partnership. We have the two of wands reversed. There's still a lot you don't see. 
it's going to be a while before it actually gets to that next level. I think once you get this piece of advice, it's going to open up a whole element of, you know, more steps that need to take place. So you have a while before it, you know, I'm not saying a long while necessarily, but you have a while before you do reach that next level. There's, there's more things to be done here. The nine of wands. I don't, don't get it. I feel as though this is the nine of wands here is don't get in your head about this. Don't feel as though people are going to steal your ideas or anything like that. You got this. This is on you. I mean, this is you only you can bring to the table what you have to bring to the table. You know what I mean? And it's going to be your own. Like even if other people have done it, it's going to be your own. And if you work at it and follow the steps that you know you need to follow, it's going to be successful. We have the five of cups. Yeah, I definitely think you're in your head about this. The seven of pentacles reversed. At some point you might want to change directions completely. Is that a good idea for Virgo to change directions completely? Ace of Wands. Only if the direction that you decide to go in next is something you're truly passionate about. I think somewhere in the mix in doing all this, you started to lose your passion for why you started this project in the first place. And now you're kind of like on to the next thing, chasing the dopamine, chasing the dopamine. Either that or you're gonna be preoccupied with your sex life. It's very phallic, that ace of wands. No, let's stick with the first one. All right, keep going. The seven of cups reversed. Yeah, so once you, once you do change directions, or even if you don't, you are going to reach a place where you are solely focused on this project. Is that gonna lead Virgo to success? I feel like it is, but let's ask the cards. Five of wands. Yes, I feel like yes, it's going to lead you to success. However, not without its, um, not without tripping up a little bit along the way. But Five of Wands isn't like a major conflict card. It's more like growing pains. There's gonna be some growing pains here. When can Virgo expect to reach that next level? Two of Pentacles. All right, so Two of Pentacles is actually Capricorn, Capricorn energy. So maybe not until early winter of next year. Sorry if that's disappointing. The Seven of Wands reversed. All right, you're going to, I, I feel as though the conflicts you're going to run into might have to do with some kind of legalities. Like you might like say you're starting a business, the paperwork might be held up or for your project, you might need to get a lawyer on board Yeah, there's some kind of paperwork issue that's going to keep getting in the way. Or if, if the paperwork issue doesn't have to do with the project you're focused on, it's some other legal matter or paperwork issue in some other area of your life that keeps interfering with your mission to solely focus on this project. the star, but you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to give everything you have, um, you know, while still keeping your other plates spinning, you're going to give everything you have to this project. 
Can we expect success? I feel like so far it's, yeah, but just not without, not without a struggle. But let's just ask one more time. Can we expect success with this project for Virgo? Hell yeah, eight of wands. So this reading is for April, 2022. I think what we're doing is in April, 22 is you're starting this project and you're going to quickly learn that you need to change directions. And once you do that, you're gonna create a system for balancing the other things in your life with also focusing on this project, but you might not see it come to full fruition for a while. And the important thing is to not get discouraged. All right, Virgo. Uh, remember tarot is a story and you're the main character. If you're interested in learning tarot on your own, I wrote a book, you can click the link down below if you're interested in purchasing the book. And I'll see you next time.